Hi guys and welcome back to South African Reptiles. In today's video we would like to cover facts and information about South African and African tortoises and turtles. Now there aren't many species within South Africa, many of whom are endangered. We hope that after today you gain some interesting facts and new knowledge about tortoises and how truly wonderful tortoises are. Up first, the geometric tortoise. Don't forget if you like our videos and like what we do and the information we provide, Please follow us on Facebook, YouTube and subscribe for more videos. The geometric tortoise or Passamabatis geometricus is one of my favourite tortoises and another common name for this tortoise is the seed poiki. The geometric tortoise has been classified as critically endangered. The geometric or seed poiki has a convex shaped shell with a bright yellow starred pattern on the carapace, but dull and with less defined colour on the plastron. The front legs have different sized scales and the feet have five toes. The geometric species is very small with males being 10 cm in size and the females 12.5 cm in size. The geometric tortoise is found in southwestern areas of the Cape in South Africa, commonly found in lowlands and is easily isolated by mountains they cannot cross. Their diet consists mainly of leaves, shoots and flowers and indigenous fainbos. It is believed that the geometric tortoises aestivate, meaning hibernating but during hot periods instead of cold, and will hide in its shell or scurry away when noticed as they are very shy. Very little is known about the geometric tortoise's reproductive behaviour. However, we can confirm that they produce between 1 to 5 eggs. The female geometric will normally dig a hole and cover the hole with grass or other vegetation to incubate. Up next, the African Spur Tortoise. The African Spur Tortoise or Geochelone sulcata are found in northern Africa, normally in the driest and hottest regions. The African Spur Tortoises are the largest African tortoises with a broad flat carapace, meaning a dorsal upper section of the exoskeleton or shell. Carapaces are found in arthropods as well as vertebrates and the bottom section of the shell is called a plastron. Since the spur tortoise comes from such a hot, dry area, it has developed a thick skin to hold or store water. Male African spur tortoises have marginal scales in the front just under the neck, and this makes the males bigger, while the female is smaller but more flatter. The female has a concave plastron. Male spur tortoises weigh up to 100 kilograms, and females weigh up to 60 kilograms. Spur tortoises are known to make a hissing sound when threatened. Spur tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat vegetation or plants, and their life expectancy are around 60 years, but are known to live to 80 or 100 years old. These tortoises normally dig a hole to protect itself from the heat. The scutes on the tortoise refer to the keratina scales in the shell of a tortoise or turtle. Very often when these tortoises are aggressive, even when they are born, they tend to flip each other over, and you can hear the adult males groan and hiss and grunt while they fight with other males, as they are aggressive towards each other. These tortoises are very vocal during mating. After a gestation period of 60 days, the females will start to lay eggs, normally three every minute or so, and consisting of 15 to 30 eggs. Incubation period lasts up to 212 days. This species is vulnerable and listed by Conservation Acts. Up next, the leopard tortoise. The leopard tortoise or Stigmochelis pardalis is a large tortoise found in the eastern and southern parts of Africa and loves thorny grassland habitats. It is the only member of the genus Stigmochelis family. The leopard tortoise doesn't dig holes but will more likely take over jackal or aardvark holes. The only time it is noticed that a leopard tortoise digs is mainly to dig a hole to lay their eggs. The tortoise is a herbivore, mainly eating on succulents, grasses and thistles. It is not uncommon for them to gnaw at bones or hyena feces to obtain calcium. Most people have debated that there are two subspecies of leopard tortoise, but there is not enough evidence to determine these findings. Stigma chelis is broken up from two Greek words, one being stigma, which means mark or point, and the other chelone, which means tortoise, and the specific name pardalis means leopard in Latin. On the tortoise shell, you can often see small spots or round markings on the shell, and this is where it got its name, leopard tortoise. The leopard tortoise is the fourth biggest tortoise in the world, with adults reaching up to 40 centimeters and weighing 13 kilograms. However, some have been seen to grow 70 centimeters and weigh 20 kilograms. The females have a concave on the plastron, and the carapace has a light brown to dark brown, even tan colors with blotches of black or spots. 
Tortoises play a big part of seed dispersal and are normally less active during the day and during hot weather. During mating season, males will fight over females by ramming and butting each other. They will also trail and overpower the female to mate with them. They are very vocal during mating and grunts can be heard from some distance. The female can lay up to 7 clutches of eggs and each clutch consists of between 5 to 30 eggs. Up next, the pancake tortoise. The pancake tortoise, or Melichichosis tornini, is also known as a soft gel tortoise, crevice tortoise, or tornier's tortoise. This species is found mainly in Kenya and Tanzania, but reportedly found in Zambia and Zimbabwe. It has been named a pancake tortoise because of the flat carapace, which is up to 18 centimeters long. The carapace is normally a brown color with dark lines on each shoot. As for the plastron, it is normally a pale yellow or brown. The pancake tortoise has lots of openings in its shell, making it lighter and faster and more agile than normal tortoises. The pancake tortoise is often seen in rocky areas above 30 to 1800 meters above sea level. The males normally fight to get the females and normally only a single egg is laid. However, they can still lay multiple eggs throughout the breeding season with eggs appearing every 4 to 8 weeks. The incubation period is as short as 100 days and can last up to 5 months. The young are independent as soon as they are born. We have not yet seen them hibernate, but it is known that they aestivate during hot periods. Their diet consists of grasses and vegetation. Feeding and activities normally happen early morning or late afternoon or evening. They are very shy and if seen will run and hide under a rock or crevice. They are exceptional climbers and agile. The pancake tortoise is classified as vulnerable on the IUCN red list. Up next, the African helmet turtle. The African helmet turtle, or Pilamedusa sabrufa, is also commonly known as the marsh terrapin, the crocodile turtle, or African side-necked turtle. This species is found in the Cape Peninsula all the way to Sudan. The helmet head turtle is an omnivore and naturally inhabits fresh or stagnant water throughout sub-Saharan Africa. This turtle is rather a small turtle, with some being as big as 20 centimeters. The carapace is normally a black or brown, but appendages are grayish brown. The plastron is normally yellowish. The males are easily identifiable by their long thick tail, while females have a shorter and broader carapace. Hatchlings are no bigger than 3 cm at birth and normally olive to black in colour. Baby helmets have two small tubercles under their chin and mask glands in the sides of their carapace. The helmet species in particular have no curved plastron. The most amazing fact about this turtle is that it has been documented in herpetological review by Andy and Michelle Lighty Jones. They discovered that rhinos, warthog and buffalo utilize the turtle to remove parasites at popular wallowing holes. We don't know for sure if these turtles have a symbiotic relationship with these animals, but we do know it has been seen a few times before. It is common that the turtle leaves its watering hole to find another water hole during drought and can even dig themselves into the ground and remain there until rain comes. It has been reported that the animal has spent months underground waiting for rain, even for years. The turtle will even hibernate during cold weather and aestivate during unusually hot weather. While mating, each of the turtles shake their head. The females lay 2 to 10 eggs on average, normally during late spring, early summer, and the eggs hatch roughly 75 to 90 days later. The one thing everyone loves about the helmet turtle is that it has a large smiling mouth and a pig-like nose. If it falls on its back, it can easily flip around by using the strong tail and the head bobbing it does, especially during mating season. Palamedusa species comprised of at least 10 subspecies. Up next, the East African Black Mud Turtle. The East African Black Mud Turtle, or Pelosius subniger, is also known as the Pan Terrapin, generally found in eastern and southeastern Africa. This turtle has a smooth domed carapace, which is typically dark brown, grey or black. The plastron is hinged and the colour varies from black, yellow, brown and even grey. The upper jaw normally has a blunt smooth shape and the neck of this turtle retracts sideways instead of vertical. They are rather small species ranging from a small to medium sized turtle growing up to 20 centimeters. The mud turtle is an omnivore and eats fish, invertebrates and plants. Its lifespan is up to 50 years old. 
Females can lay 3 to 12 eggs in the spring and normally bury them in the mud, hence the name East African Black Mud Turtle. These turtles also have been known to bury into the mud to control and regulate their body temperature. We often see them basking on the rocks in sunlight, but they are regarded as nocturnal animals as most of the hunting and activity is done at night. Now a lot of conservation has been done for these turtles in the Seychelles as they are classified as critically endangered there, but in South Africa they are still listed as least concern. And lastly, the Pelusius turtle. The Pelusios turtle, or common names, hinged terrapins, African mud turtles or mud terrapins, is a genus of the African side neck turtles. With 20 species, it is the most diverse genera of all turtles. They are found throughout sub-Saharan Africa and Madagascar and has been introduced into Les Antilles. The genus of these turtles consists of some species as small as 12 cm and others up to 46 cm. The carapace is oblong and the head is normally flat with a mouth that looks as though it smiles. They seem to be semi-aquatic to aquatic and typically walk on the floor in a slow moving water. They lay between 6 to 18 eggs and incubation is between 8 to 10 weeks. There are 20 described species of Pelusius.